good morning hey y'all um so my i'm back at home and the squirrel squirrels whatever were in they had been in every single bed that i have matter of fact when i was pulling up one was even on my front porch where i put some of my stuff at so my husband had got this in e nose I think that's how you say it. No zone animal repellent station. It's supposed to repel deers, rabbits, and squirrels. And also bats if you used it in your attic or something like that. You hang a stake around the plant. Um, protect your plants. It says six no touch pre-filled stations. So I'm going to see if this works. Um, supposed to cover up to 25 cubic square feet and it also says dogs and cats around ornamental plants as well to repel tree squirrel squirrels and bats that are in an attic okay we ain't doing that pre-application calculate the total number of cubic feet to treat divide by 25 cubic square feet to determine the number of one ounce stations needed so i'll probably need more of these but for now i just have this one so i think i'm just gonna do it in the middle and hope that that works i mean because they haven't really been going in the five gallon buckets but they go in these beds they had been in the broccoli bed um they even were over here with the cabbage, but they were on the end where I have like some carrots at. And then over here where I put some more corn, over with the cucumbers, over with the beans. I'm like, are you serious? So y'all, I hope this works. We gonna find out though. We gonna find out. So I opened it and it does have the six different stations. So I'm definitely gonna put them in one in the middle and then over by the watermelon over here as well because they had gotten into my watermelon. I, I don't even know if I'm gonna have watermelon coming up where I did the seeds at. And these are the little tiny stations right here. And I'm just gonna stick it through that little top piece right there with the hole and then I'm gonna stake it in the ground. I'm gonna do one and show you, and yeah. Stand out here, this is the first thing that I've done other than bring my bags in. How are y'all doing? I hope I'm doing this right. I should have looked at the instructions, but y'all can't see what I'm doing, can you? Can you, can you? Okay, so. What I'm doing is putting it through that little hole right here and then bringing it through and it's gonna stand, let me show you, like this and I'm gonna stake one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to edit this video or not because I haven't tried my editor yet. So I don't really want to put one in the middle though. Let's put it here. And it says it doesn't know how long. It'll last a while, but it all depends on the weather. So I'm gonna put these little cups all around the yard and hopefully to work i will let you know okay so it also says that you have to twist it at the bottom you see how this one is this one is not like that at all so what i have to do is twist it what i did is just pull it like that basically y'all this looks like a moth this is nothing but a mothball I told my husband, I said, this is a mothball that they have in here. Are you serious? But, that's crazy. Anyway, 
So you can either stand it in your yard or you can hang it. I'm just gonna hang mine and hope that it works. Because if it works, guess what? I'm not buying no more of this. I'm just gonna put my mothballs in here. That's crazy. That ain't nothing but a big old mothball. It even smells like mothballs. I told my husband, I said, this smells like moth mothballs. He was like, no, baby, it's not mothballs. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Leave me any comments or suggestions. I will take it all. Bye, y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. 